Well, folks, Miley Cyrus, she's a big pop star and she's engaged in virtually every act of taboo breaking you can engage in. Well, she has a new song out and um, it's about regrets. It is called Used to Be Young. And honestly, I don't like it's kind of it's kind of an amazing song. I don't mean musically. I mean, in terms of the message, this entire song is Miley Cyrus complaining that all of the things that she has spent her entire life promoting and doing are very bad for her and now have left her single and alone at 30. That's what the song is. Now, what's amazing about this is that it was written by exactly the same people, like the same songwriting duo that did Flowers, which is a song about how she broke up with, who was it, Liam Hemsworth? And, um, and how now she was happy because she could buy herself flowers. I, I said at the time when we watched that video, this is a sad person. It was literally a person alone by herself running around in an empty city in what looked like, I mean, it, it felt like an emotional post-apocalyptic hellscape. She's like by herself in a, in a room alone with herself dancing by her. It was super sad. Well, now she's just saying it out loud. She's wearing, of course, the Mickey Mouse shirt to signify when she was on, when she was on Mickey Mouse Club when she was younger or whatever it was, Hannah Montana. And uh, she's wearing like a red dress and the, the, she's like crying into camera about for three minutes. She's crying into camera about how she's made all these mistakes and now she doesn't like have a lot to show for it, which is amazingly true. I just don't understand how a person can make the song Flowers and used to be young in the same year. Maybe these are related to one another. Maybe it turns out that the way to avoid regrets of the past is to live a fulfilling and purpose-driven present. Maybe that would be it. And that when you spread the message that you are enough for you, live your life, single ladies, you don't need a husband. You don't need kids. You don't need meaning. You don't need purpose. You don't need church. You don't need a community. You don't need any of those things. It's just you, girl boss. And then you turn up like this. Maybe those two messages are related. Anyway, here it is. Used to be young from Miley Cyrus. The truth is bulletproof. There's no fool in you. I don't dress the same. Me and two, you say I was yesterday. I've gone all separate ways. Left my living fast somewhere in the past Cause that's for chasing cars Turns out open bars lead to broken hearts I'm going way too far You think? I know I used to be crazy I know I used to be fun You say I used to be wild I say I used to be young Okay, so um, she's crying. Okay, the entire song is, I know I used to be crazy. That's because I used to be young. The countervailing, like the counterpositive there is she's not crazy anymore because she's not young anymore. And maybe it's time to grow up, right? Maybe that, that's what the song is about. Is your cell phone in desperate need of replacement? You know the signs already. You got the short battery life. You have to have a charger on hand at all times. You got that cracked screen that gives you glass splinters. It's time to put that old phone out to pasture. Upgrade to a new 5G Samsung Galaxy from Pure Talk for free. Get a free 5G Samsung Galaxy with two-day battery life, edge-to-edge -edge display, ultra-strong Gorilla Glass when you sign up for Pure Talk's unlimited talk text and 15-gig data plan for just 35 bucks a month. Plus, it comes with mobile hotspot as well. If you're not using Pure Talk, you're simply paying too much money. It's that simple. Get all the data you could ever need for half the price of the big carriers on America's most dependable 5G network. I use them for all my business phone calls. And, you know, those calls matter a lot to me. So I wouldn't risk it on a bad carrier. Pure Talk is great. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro for your free, super durable 5G Samsung Galaxy when you switch on over to Pure Talk again. Visit puretalk.com slash Shapiro. Make that switch to my cell phone company, Pure Talk, the official wireless partner of The Daily Wire. Go check them out right now. Get the great coverage. Get the new phone. Really got nothing to lose. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro for your free, super durable 5G Samsung Galaxy, and you're getting better coverage anyway. That is puretalk.com slash Shapiro. According to a recent study of hundreds of post-abortive women, 60% of women reported they would have preferred to give birth if they had received more support from others or had more financial security. This is where preborn steps in. Preborn is there for women in their darkest hour, deciding between the life and death of their precious child. The reality is women are being lied to. They're being told to make this fatal decision because of outside pressures or because they don't have the capacity to make the decision because they don't have the financial wherewithal or whatever. This is where preborn helps. They're also being lied to by being told it's just a clump of cells, which isn't true. Preborn welcomes women with love and introduces them to the beautiful life growing inside them, which doubles their baby's chance at life. When you support preborn, you not only support women, you empower them. Your donation of 28 bucks will help a woman receive a free ultrasound. Your love can save a life. Ultrasound saves lives. I mean, I gotta tell you, I have four kids. We have tremendous ultrasound pictures from all of them. 
even the difference in the ultrasound quality between child number one and child number four is absolutely astonishing. So if you can, donate right now. Dial pound 250, say keyword baby. That's pound 250 baby. Or go to preborn.com slash Ben. That's preborn.com slash Ben to help start saving lives right now with preborn. Now it's being played by some of the media as like an anthem to, I don't regret my past. She's crying the entire song. The entire song she's crying, which suggests that maybe like the line turns out open bars lead to broken hearts and going way too far. You think? That's right. Like, listen, better late than never. If I thought this was the new Miley Cyrus and that she was actually going to embrace a purpose-driven life, I'd be a little bit more charitable here. I hope she does. I hope that the next thing that she embraces is, you know, maybe singing messages that people who are 20 should hear. That actually life is not about party in the USA. And that flowers are, you can't buy yourself flowers. That actually you should try to be a better person so you can find Mr. Right. And then maybe settle down and build an actual family structure and then do something for the world. Maybe that would be like a great message. I don't trust pop music to do that though. Pop music is the most narcissistic form of music. It really is. Like rap right now, the messages in rap are full on destructive, but pop is in, insanely narcissistic. It's just about me and my feelings and, and, how, and it's just like a giant mirror all the time. But songs like this, maybe they could serve as a catalyst for some people rethinking the choices that they're making while they're in the middle of all of this. She said, she finishes the song. I know I used to be crazy, messed up, but God, was it fun. I know I used to be wild. That's because I used to be young. Those wasted nights are not wasted. I remember everyone. I know I used to be crazy. That's because I used to be young. Okay, so, but here's the thing. You shouldn't waste more nights like that. Even if what you want to say is that I made mistakes in my past and that's what made me what I am. Okay, but now be something more. Or you're going to end up at 40 singing the same song, just being a little older and without the possibility of fixing your life. Like she's only 30. She's still a young lady. There's no reason that she can't, you know, put together a successful life. And by successful, I mean useful. I mean, a purpose and meaning driven life. Not one where you're coming like a wrecking ball naked. So, um, you know, not bad. I, I hope this is the beginning of maybe a, a rethinking for, for Miley Cyrus. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a song that she wrote because it's emotive or that she didn't write, that she's singing because it's emotive. Who knows? Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 